Good evening. Fred Blanchard here, Adrenaline Motorsports. You at Eskandarian, of course, from Eskandarian Racing Cams. In fact, I visited there this week, and uh, they're uh, very, very busy all of a sudden, and I got a chance to uh, find out what the latest and greatest is there in the cam grinding uh, part of the world. And uh, to add to that, I went to, uh, today I visited Contreras uh, Cam Company, which is another facility uh, that uh, Nachi recently bought uh, the rights to uh, a lot of the machine tooling to make camshafts. And his mentor is uh, Donnie Johansson of Howard Racing Cams. And Donnie, uh, believe me, is a gold mine of information. And he has been very, very helpful with a lot of the stuff that I've been working on with the, the Arius company. And he's real good about uh, dealing with these kind of things. And uh, But he, there's not too much that uh, he has not done in the camshaft business. And he is from the famous Howard Cam family, which is uh, Bobby Johansson, who makes the connecting rods, of course. And then, as I had on on the air here some weeks back, was Brett Johansson, the grandson of Howard Johansson. So... It's uh, the Johansson family, and uh, they, they're three generations of all-out hardcore racers from the early days and still going hard, uh, hard on, basically st- strong today with uh, uh, the uh, Ashley Nostalgia Fuel Dragsters, and Brett is uh, instrumental in uh, crew chief and uh, director of what goes on there, and they won the championship two years ago, and uh, just barely edged out this last year, and uh, they're prepared for this season. And they got some fresh engine parts, of course, some new ideas and things. But that's the innovation of the Howard family, uh, whether it be uh, Bobby Johansson with the connecting rods or uh, Donnie Johansson with the camshaft designs and know-how or Brett with uh, the engine uh, and the know-how with uh, the nostalgia side of the business. Uh, i got to tell you that uh, the information is there. These guys are very knowledgeable. Had the privilege of uh, knowing them all, and I think it's a pretty neat deal. That, uh, and uh, I never met uh, Howard personally. I met uh, Liz, the wife, but I never met Howard. Uh, but most of my cronies have and been around him. And quite an innovator. And again, Brett talked a little bit about uh, Grandpa, as I call him, anyway. And so I, was, I had him on the show, and we talked quite a bit about that. So, yeah, it's quite an interesting uh, area that we, we travel, uh, and, and we know a lot of people, and we meet a lot of people. And... I had an opportunity also to visit uh, Foundry Works, which basically uh, does uh, engine block casting, which is a unique side of the business. And uh, I visited there this week as well and uh, got the chance to do uh, shoot a video of an engine block being poured. In other words, when I say being poured, uh, they formulate uh, the components of a mold made of sand and molten aluminum is poured into the mold, and it solidifies. And then when you take all the sand away and knock it all apart, you have the shape of an engine block there. And then uh, the, all the debris is taken off of that uh, engine block to make it look like an engine block. When I say debris, it's the areas would allow the gases and things of that nature to escape. And uh, no bubbles are left in the material and that kind of thing. And then they cut all that off, and then uh, they grind it, and then they send it out to heat treat and that kind of thing. And so uh, that was done, and I, I got the chance to see that. And uh, we're going to see uh, – we're going to basically try to put together uh, a little uh, scenario here on video, hopefully, uh, that we uh, can show the beginnings of the, uh, the casting and, and assembly of – uh, the core boxes that make an engine block. We're going to try and do that and uh, show the folks how things are done and behind the scenes in the racing industry. I mean, these are things that people don't get to see. And so our intent is to try and do that, and it's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, boring to the ladies, of course, but, I mean, the bottom line is uh, the guys who uh, want to know how did they do that and how did this get done and there's a lot of that on television today, but nothing that relates to the performance side of the business. And so based on that, that's going to be part of what we're going to try and do this year, along with how a camshaft is ground and how they decide to do it, what the process a cam goes through, how what the beginnings are of a cam. And it's a chunk of steel, length of the motor, of course, and then they grind 
where the lobes are supposed to be, and then there's uh, usually a gear in one end of the cam or the middle of the cam or the opposite end of the cam that drives a distributor of some type, and that's usually the intent of some of that stuff. And so uh, with that being said, uh, that's kind of what's going to be shown there. And then the other thing that's going to get shown is uh, pretty much uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to show some of the them bestie cars and, and some of that stuff. So uh, we're out and about to trying to uh, kind of uh, kind of a show and tell kind of a thing this year, and uh, hopefully I can get it done through the station if I and uh, and other means if possible as well. And uh, we do have uh, uh, Fred Blanchard uh, Adrenaline Motorsports on YouTube if you want to log on to that. Uh, some of the segments that we have you, a lot of more audio than visual, but I also have some videos that are on there for from Bonneville. Not that uh, we did anything spectacular, but it's the beginning stages of what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. But uh, we, we may not have run too fast. We only ran 230 mi- 39 miles an hour, but uh, we certainly look good doing it. So <laughs> that's all I can say about that at this point in time. Hopefully next year we'll look good and go fast too. But, uh, you know, instead of, uh, as I was told last year, he says, I didn't know you were running a diesel well. Rightfully so, because I was too chicken to hop up the motor. So anyway, the result is uh, we'll look good this coming year. It'll be a fun deal.